So the FCA today issued its final report on the asset management industry. This follows its interim report that was issued in late 2016, in which they identified several issues related to potential lack of competition, specifically price competition with the asset management industry, um, questions about governance, etc. Um, this report sets out their response, albeit not quite in final form, despite the title. They're saying they support this or that, and they'll consult on this or that. But nevertheless, we think it's moving strongly in the right direction. Uh, first and foremost, they're supporting an all-in fee for asset management services. So in, the idea is when you pay for a fund, you'll get not just a series of fees, but you'll get one all-in fee that also includes the transaction costs, which have not been included before. This is in keeping with MIFID II and PRIPS, and we think that's very good for investors. The second thing they're doing is look at improving fund governance by requiring for the first time at least two independent directors or 25% of the board to be independent. And we think that will help really shore up um, the, the effort to look after investor interests in the fund. And finally, uh, they're creating a way for fund companies to move investors that are in legacy sort of full freight um, charge classes into the RDR clean classes or cheaper classes um, under certain conditions. And that should help investors get better outcomes with lower costs.